husband back in the day her and her husband <laughs> this next one is a quote from one of Eden's songs you can't escape forever and it's something that I think is um, I would say very wise thing to go by um, and basically how I interpret these words uh, is just if you are trying to run away from a problem or just you know I don't know just something like that you can keep pushing it away pushing it away but in the end it's still going to eat at you you can't escape it forever so I try to deal with things um, as they come since well I know that I can't escape forever so one of Eden's quotes from one of his songs I want to say it's when he was called the Eden Project <laughs> next up uh, is just my sign <laughs> born in January so must mean I am a fabulous Aquarius <laughs> Then I have EXO, which is my favorite song by Eden, aka The Eden Project, and it was the first song I ever listened to from him, so it got me hooked immediately. It's awesome, and you might recognize this, but yes, this is from a Ouija board, a planchette. It is from a Ouija in high school, I did a lot of things with the Ouija board, <laughs> and uh, one of the stories I'll never forget is when I went to a cemetery with my friends, and two of them got super spooked, and um, it's just, it's a long story, but we went to Buffalo Wild Wings afterwards, and one of my friends could not stop crying. He, uh, he really said he saw some shit that night, so I've never seen a guy like that before, and I do believe he saw something. This next one was also done by Tattooing Granny down in Florida, and uh, it's just like a little watercolored rose. I feel like roses are typical to get tattooed, but the meaning behind this for me personally is that my dad would bring me flowers roses specifically um, to every like meet or tournament for sporting events or just any academic achievement kind of award ceremony thing this is Eden's Lowe 
just really love Freddy, man. <laughs> I do want to get maybe something to do with Pennywise later on, but I'm not too sure what I want to get for that yet. And I also want to get one for Saw. Saw, I think that would be bad as Saw and Freddy Krueger are one of my top favorite for scary slash horror movies, or I guess you could say psychological for Saw. I don't know. I don't know what to classify Saw as because it doesn't scare me in the way where I can't sleep. Um, I just, I don't know, it doesn't really scare me at all. It's just very entertaining. <laughs> you could call me a psycho. <laughs> the producer doesn't like those movies. <laughs> the Saw series at all. And this one is Medusa. She's got some snakes that have now like, um, I mean they just look like normal strands of hair loosely around her head now but when I first got it you could see the eyes and the tongue on one of them. Um, but it has, this one has been on my arm for a while so the ink has come together. I can't think of the wording for that right now, but over time, if you are planning on getting a tattoo, just make sure it is whatever, whatever you're getting big enough for it not to um, close in together, like uh, for wording or the death date that I have. Eventually, that'll probably just be a like blurry blackish line, but I knew that going into it, so just guess be mindful that over time it can just not look the same, <laughs> which I'm sure you already know. But this next one is a little mushroom man meditating. This goes towards all of my tripping in the past, all my experiences with LSD and shrooms. I've done LSD, or I should say I've taken LSD a um, more amount of times than shrooms. Will I ever do it again? I'm not too sure. It really takes a lot out of you, like, physically and mentally. Is it fun for me personally? It is. Um, do I recommend it? I, I have no say in that. Do your own research. And, uh, that's all I gotta say. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, no other real, like, deeper meaning behind any of my experiences for this specific tattoo. I just really loved him. He was cute as hell. And, um, just goes towards all the trimming. I really like his face, too. He's so cute. <laughs> he is so cute. And I'm so happy the producer decided to, um, trace these for me, because I could not get to these ankles. But, going back to my favorite tattoo, this is it. It's a centipede, and it goes up my left arm, kind of close to my elbow. Um, I would say when the artist was tattooing the legs that we're tracing right now, slash the antenna up above the left side, that one, it felt more uncomfortable than painful. Um, I, I'm never personally going to get my elbows tattooed, no thank you. Same with my kneecaps or my feet. Never, never, never. I'm still contemplating about my back since I'll never really look at it. And I kind of, I'm, I'm weighing out my options for like, is it worth the money if I can't really look at it, you know? Maybe down the line if I run out of area skin, maybe I'll move to my back, but I don't know. That is my favorite one, though. And last but not least, this one was also done in Spain, and it's just a cute little UFO kind of thing. <laughs> no real meaning behind it, I just really loved it. But anyways, thanks for chilling with me. I hope you have a lovely night, and I will see you on Wednesday. If not Wednesday, some other time. See ya.